Welcome to the Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 demo on scheduling reports. The days of having to wait for reports to run are over. In NAV 2015, a new feature called Scheduling Reports offers users an easy way to run reports without waiting. This feature offers benefits, including running performance-intensive reports on the NAV server, freeing up the user interface while reports are running, and saving the reports for later viewing. Let's get started. We'll start by setting up the job queue to run a report. Open the job queues page. Choose new to set up a new job queue. Click Home to return to the Role Center. Let's now add the Report Inbox to the top of the Role Center layout. From the Navigation pane, choose the Home button. If the Report Inbox is not added, you'll need to highlight it from the Available Parts window and click Add. You can see here that we already have report inbox in the role center layout. With report inbox highlighted, let's move it to the top for our demonstration. Let's also add job queues to our role center layout. Move job queue underneath report inbox. Notice how Report Inbox and My Job Queue are at the top on the left side of our Role Center. Now that the Report Inbox and Job Queue have been moved to the top of our Role Center layout, click Report from the Navigation pane to begin scheduling a report. Choose Customer Order Summary from the ribbon. The Edit Report window will open. Click the down arrow next to Print. The schedule window will pop up. Notice that you can edit the description of the report in the format that you would like to output the report in. Options are PDF, Word, Excel, Print, and you can choose none for those that only want to process the report. After scheduling the report, you'll notice it appear in the report inbox window. Here, we have opened the report directly from within our Role Center. Let's now demonstrate what to do when scheduling a report fails. From the navigation pane, click the home arrow. Notice we have already put job queue at the top. This is necessary to see when reports have failed in scheduling. For this example, we'll keep the default settings. Click the print down arrow. Leave default settings and press OK. The error will appear shortly. When it does, click show error. Notice that the show error will display the message explaining what causes the error. Click OK. Let's demonstrate how to drill down further into these error details. I am going to navigate to the job queue log entries from the top bar. Notice the error listed. Additionally, you can click show error in the navigation pane to show the message we saw from the role center layout. Click Home to return to the Role Center. This concludes our NAV 2015 demo on scheduling reports.